So AO1 is very research orientated. It's really important that you include a lot of artist research in your sketchbook. So you don't always have to do an artist copy for every artist you look at. You can just stick in images of their work and then write about why you want to look at them. Make sure you mention what you want to take from their work and put into your own work. For example, their technique, their colour scheme, or their use of shapes. You also get marks for taking your own photographs, so make sure you specify in your sketchbook if it's your work. You can pick up some more marks by using sophisticated language when annotating your own or someone else's work. Examples include understanding words such as hue and tone and using them accurately. The theme of AO2 is all about experimentation. Use as many different techniques as you can possibly think of. The more you experiment, the more marks you will pick up. An example of how to do this is to reproduce the same image multiple times using different materials. So you could create an image using pencil, then create it again with oil pastels, then fine liner, etc. This then allows you to compare which materials are more successful. AO3 is all about annotation, so it's a critical reflection on what you have produced. What are its strengths and weaknesses? What do you like about it? What don't you like about it? Is it appropriate for the topic you're looking at? And why? If you were to make the piece again, what would you do differently? What do you want to try out next to take your work even further? So AO4 is the section where I would recommend drawing yourself a Venn diagram in your sketchbook. However, I would only recommend doing this when you've reached almost the end of your investigation and it's going to help you make your final piece. Therefore, you can look at all the previous experiments you've done in your sketchbook and then you can compare them all together and see which ones you think you want to use for your final piece. You will get marks for this because you're showing the examiner that you're planning out how to create a successful final response. In AO4 it's also important to make sure that your piece has a deeper meaning than just surface value. If you get chance after you've made your final piece, it would also pick up some marks if you annotated a reflection and talked about its strengths and weaknesses and what you could have done differently. I would say that it's really important to write reflections about your pieces because I think this is what got me the marks and it's something I still use on my degree course now. You can present things in any way you want as long as it has the important information around it. One thing I enjoyed doing was making my sketchbook quite interactive, so there were things you could lift up, things you could pull away to see what was underneath. You don't have to do fancy backgrounds in all your pages if you don't want to, it's totally up to you, but one thing I would say is make sure that if you write on top of the background you can still read your writing, I hope this has been helpful and good luck to anyone who's starting A-level fine art.